What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Thematic Beauty and Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic terrier. I do not read cards based off the news. I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels, and the divine. And I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius. Reading for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael. Please give me clear and precise messages. Clear and precise messages for Aquarius. Aquarius, we have the magician here. Okay, I feel like somebody is doing spell work, but who is doing spell work? Give me some more clarification. Yeah. I feel like somebody could be experiencing... Somebody could be sick here. Somebody could be on their deathbed. I'm hearing a... Uh, this could be a father. Or if somebody is not on their deathbed, somebody, this, somebody's, this is somebody's father. I keep hearing father. Somebody's father is jealous of what they do for work. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like somebody's father is very messy. Somebody could be married to this queen of wands here. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. I feel like somebody's father wants to get in your business or they think they know your business or somebody could be watching you. This father could be watching you. Yeah, I feel like they, this father never cared about you. This father may love you, but they, they never cared about you. Somebody actually cares more about their own wife and their stepchildren. I could be picking back up on this loser again. Yeah, somebody's father is a, yeah. I feel like this father is a part of some type of coven. And I don't even feel like this coven, I feel like this is somebody's father that's married to this queen of wands here who does spell work. Yeah, I feel like this queen of wands could actually be cheating on this father. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm seeing heavy spell work here. I feel like somebody constantly watches you and they hate on you. You can have a platform. You could uh, have some, I don't know what you do for work, but your father does not like what you do for work and they're hating on you. Somebody could actually even be calling you a witch with this magician here. So, so, so if you're a spiritualist or a YouTuber or something like that, your family doesn't approve of what you do. But it's like they could have downplayed what you So You could be a tear reader. I feel like I'm talking about a tear reader. You don't have to be a tear reader or you could just be somebody that's spiritually gifted or you're into spirituality. I feel like your family doesn't approve of this. Yeah. Yeah, your family does not approve of this. They don't approve of what you do or what you believe in. Yeah, but I feel like you putting all these people to shame. You putting his father in particular into shame. If you have any other family members, I feel like they just ignore you. They don't even care about you. They're in their own world any fucking ways. But I feel like there is a father here that you put to shame. I feel like because you told your father you were going to do something, possibly you were going to get some type of platform. Yeah, this father is a devil, man. This father has been a devil, man your life in a magician and they've been hating they also want to see who you who you're in a relationship with yeah i feel like somebody somebody could have gotten sponsored or you could have signed a sponsorship deal or something like this yeah somebody's wife is extremely jealous of you as well but I, as well but i feel like you put this father in several people so you put this father in their wife to shame i feel like these two individuals could have been watching you on your platform or they could have been watching you manifest something it doesn't you don't have to be a tarot reader or you could you could do something on youtube i feel like you do something online that's what i'm seeing here and i feel like they could have been hated on you for a while they could have been calling you a witch or a fake spiritualist or something like that or saying whatever you do for work whatever you do for work is on a platform you're receiving justice though the justice that you are receiving is putting these people to shame because i feel like whatever you said you were gonna do you really you've really been able to do it and you're blessed and abundant you're sitting in the ace of pentacles and i feel like this father is going through karma for not supporting you yeah i feel like you're somebody that's self-made that hasn't had a lot of support yeah and i feel like even without support you're still in this ace of pentacles you're still abundant this father could actually want to borrow some money one second somebody's father could be doing really bad financially this father and their and their spouse could be doing really bad financially and they see that you're abundant and they want to offer you i mean I, 
ask ask excuse me they want to ask you for some money but yeah i feel like this yeah this father feels stuck they don't know what to do i feel like this father could have listened to their spouse over you and don't get me wrong you're supposed to put your, your husband or your wife before anybody even your own children i mean that's just how i see it but i feel like this father is in regret it's like they're contemplating because you see this magician here how they have their hands behind their back this father is contemplating because i really like i feel like they um they see that you're abundant over here. I feel like you told this father that you were going to do this. You were going to do that. And it, it came into fruition. It came true. You manifested a beautiful life for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And this father, yeah, they come. They want to come towards you with some type of offer. I'm hearing an apology. Yeah. They're also wanting to borrow money. Somebody's father wants to ask you to cash at them, PayPal, Venmo. I don't know. Somebody's father needs you needs to borrow some money. But I'm hearing if they ask, don't give it to them. Because they shouldn't have been hating on you. It's like when they should have supported you, they laughed at you. Or they said that what you were doing was demonic and of the devil. But it's like you putting this father to shame because you're successful now. Yeah, everything that you said. Yeah, you're the star. I told you, you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Your father could be an Aquarius. But yeah, you're the star. It's like everything that you said was going to happen came into fruition. Yeah, this father is shocked. They're in, they're in disbelief. They're shocked at the fact that what you said you were going to do came true. I feel like you your business is booming. People love you. You can be getting a lot of likes, subscribes, comments. Because uh, I feel like this is something that you do online. I feel like you put this father to shame. Yeah yeah and you're moving forward yeah <clears throat> anything else here before i close this out for aquarius this seems pretty simple all i can say is aquarius yeah you'll so you could your father could be another aquarius you could be dealing with an aquarius yeah so this or i could just be talking to you aquarius because you're an aquarius right yeah somebody's father here also has a drinking addiction somebody's father can drink a lot because they're depressed about their life yeah that's what they get for hating on you this father is like a big hater man i feel like somebody's father is a hater it's like i feel like because they messed up in their in their life or whatever they they wish bad on you and it's backfiring they're also heartbroken about your relationship but i feel like they can't make amends with you or heal the relationship yeah you're this empress here okay they can't make amends with you are in this relationship because they're tied to this queen of wands queen of swords energy here that does not it's like i could be picking back up on this storyline again doesn't have to be but that's just what i'm seeing yeah i feel like this father want to make make amends with you they really want to make amends with you because they want to ask for some money and i'm hearing don't give it to them because they shouldn't have been wishing down on talking down on you they're a big ass hater yeah but i feel like you you've proved this father wrong that's what i'm hearing you proved this father wrong and you manifested a beautiful life for yourself. Yeah. 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 This father wants to send some type of message I'm seeing here. Yeah. But I feel like they're afraid to send a message because they feel like they messed up the relationship between you two. I'm also seeing here this person's spouse, this person's wife is blocking is blocking communication or so if you could have text this father or message this father or dm or something like that I, i'm seeing that their spouse could have blocked this communication yeah because they don't like you there's some miserable bitch this is a miserable bitch that doesn't like you this is somebody that your father could be married to that's jealous of the relationship that you guys have and it's like everything negative that they said it, it backfired like everything that you said was going to happen with your business with your life it came into fruition it's like you're you're now it's like you've planted good seeds and everything is starting to everything has manifested yeah everything has came into fruition yeah you're abundant and if somebody's father wants to ask for some money i'm here they don't even need the money they just want to see if you're going to give it to them so they can have something to talk about yeah i feel like they talked about you so long because they thought that yeah i feel like somebody has a platform here that's what i'm seeing you can have a platform you don't have to but you do something online where you make money okay you don't have to have a youtube tiktok but whatever you do online you do something to make money yeah and i feel like this father heavily watches you and stalks you as well but i feel like they don't even need the money that they're asking for they just want to see if you're going to give it to them so they can have something else to talk about because you put them to shame yeah and i feel like yeah you don't have to be a terror reader you could do something online or you could be a youtuber but i feel like whatever you do you get a lot of love you get a lot of likes you get a lot of subscribes you get a lot of shares uh, people love you they care about you yeah 
somebody's father is extremely jealous of them because they fucked up their own life. Yeah, and they don't want you to be happy. They want they want to have something. They want to have something to talk about. They're extremely messy as well. I feel like this person's life is extremely messy. So if you can have siblings that are stepchildren or something like that, they're jealous of you as well. I'm hearing they're jealous of you, but they don't pay any attention to you because they don't really know you or anything like that or yeah spirit is saying this is the truth yeah i feel like this is for like a these are adult siblings yeah i feel like a father like really doubted you they really downplayed you they really thought you were crazy or some shit like that they really thought you were up in your head but you're not i feel like everything that you said that you were gonna do i feel like you've done the the impossible you're self-made you've done the impossible i feel like this father is also in regret because they wish they could have stopped you or something so you could have moved away from your hometown the state that you grew up in the city that you grew up in and you manifested a beautiful life for yourself and this father is shocked they're in disbelief because you are a star you are who you say you are i feel like this father always knew deep down inside that you were somebody special you were somebody great but because you could have made certain mistakes in your life or mess with been in fucked up relate narcissistic relationships this father thought that you would never amount to anything this father thought that you would always be stuck but i feel like they where they messed up is is that you could have done a lot of fucked up shit in your childhood or you could have done i'm not even gonna say childhood like in your teen years you're a young adult years it's like when you're young you go through karmic cycles you know what i'm saying you do stuff you learn you live and you learn you know what i'm saying you were going through your growing pains you went through some type of uh saturn return but you're out of that it's like dang rainy days don't last forever it's like this is a stupid father here that downplayed a a, a kid basically so i feel like when you did a lot of messed up stuff in your past you were probably in your early 20s or teenager or something like that yeah now this father is in regret they're sitting back thinking how they can reconcile with you and they're wanting to ask you for a money for some money i don't feel like they're wanting to reconcile with you look yeah we have the tower here i don't feel like they're wanting to reconcile with you with good intentions they would just want to ask you for some money to see if you're going to give it to them or whatever the hell they want to ask you for some money to see if you're going to give it to them so they can have something else to talk about and if they reach out to you i wouldn't answer the phone or you could have actually blocked this father because you intuitively know they ain't shit or something like that so they can't even reach out to you if they wanted to because you blocked them yeah i feel like you possibly already know how this father operates yeah yeah somebody's father here is a loser i don't, I don't mean and they messy too and it's like they're trying to think of a way to they they try, they may act like they don't care about you but they do they actually do love you and care about you but they don't care about you if that makes sense it's like like one minute they care about you and the next minute they don't and i feel like the reason one minute it's like I, i'm gonna say this this father does love and care about you but it's like every time they try to reconcile the right way and do things the right way this spouse here blocks it they do some type of spell work over this person's mind this father is under heavy spell work come up under their spouse i, I, I can see that yeah, they don't want you to have a healthy relationship because there's a lot of jealousy here this is jealousy okay yeah and i feel like you've you've manifested a beautiful life for yourself yeah you're the king you're the queen of pentacles for real yeah and i feel like yeah somebody's father doubted they doubted you that's what i'm hearing somebody's father doubted doubted them yeah and i feel like everything that you said that you were going to do you did it you're self-made yeah you're self-made and you're celebrating yeah yeah i feel like somebody's father has a lot of damn money but they're hiding it as well somebody's father could actually try to leave you some money i could be picking back up the, up, up up on that again somebody's father here could actually like even leave you money but i feel like be careful because yeah because this um their spouse is gonna try to take it and split it amongst your step your step siblings or some shit like that i could be picking back up on that again yeah but you're seen in high honor i feel like this father knows that you're somebody that's gifted you're a star you're chosen yeah and they're wanting to make amends with you but it's like they can't make amends with you it's like they want to make amends with you the right way but they can't because this spouse does some type of spell work over their mind and they really and i'm here and be careful so if you haven't blocked this this father if they try to reach out to you they're only wanting to reach out to you for some money yeah we have the king of swords here they're only wanting to bring a tower in your life yeah but you're receiving justice though you're receiving justice because you proved this father wrong okay everything that they said you couldn't do you did it 
even though you went through trials and tribulations, even though you went through some hardships and battles, I feel like somebody wants to keep you in the past. This father could have told you that you were stuck in the past because you spoke your truth, but really in reality, they're stuck in the past and they want you to be something that you're not. I feel like everything this father said you were, you were never this person. You just went through, you just went through a lot. This father could have possibly abandoned you. And if they didn't physically abandon you, they could have abandoned you emotionally. They never were there for you. They never gave you any type of emotional support. Yeah, this father wants you to be miserable and sad because they're miserable and sad. And I feel like they're hiding some type of money. I feel like even though they could be financially stable, they're doing well for themselves. They're miserable. They're they're unhappy in the relationship or the marriage that they're in because, yeah, they could also be uh sick or something like that. I don't feel like it's a major illness. Or this father could possibly be making himself sick thinking about you. Yeah, but they're, I'm hearing somebody, this father is unhappy in a marriage, but they stay. One, they stay because this could be somebody in their older age. They could be in their 50s to 60s, maybe even 70s. Hell, I don't know. Maybe even damn their 80s. But this is an older gentleman here. I feel like somebody just stays in a marriage because they're in an the old age and they've given up on life. And they also don't, they don't, they probably, they probably don't have any spiritual gifts. They also don't know that this, their, their spouse is doing spell work over them yeah you're just over here balanced so you know you 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 you're aligned with the universe don't let this father come in and ruin what the hell you got going on because they know that you're abundant everything that you said that you were gonna do you did it yourself made they didn't they didn't believe that you could do it they also probably thought you were crazy for whatever so whatever you said you what type of work you were gonna do they thought it was crazy they thought that you something was wrong with you it was up in your head but now they realize that you're the truth you're making a a lot of money for what you do yeah and this father is under judgment yeah so i would stay away from this father i would continue to be the queen of swords or whatever the hell or, or two of swords block this man block this father off because they're just wanting to bring in a tower in your life and they want to ask you for some money even though they got some money just to see if you're gonna give it to them but i feel like if you went to this father you could have actually asked this father for some money to help your business or support your business or you could have just asked this father for some money when you needed it and they didn't give it to you yeah they're also receiving karma for that i feel like and if they don't stop they're gonna receive even major more karma shit i feel like if they don't stop talking about you or speaking negative against you they're gonna receive some type of karma in their finances i feel like this could slowly be happening or it's about to happen i feel like y'all feel like if your grandfather is deceased or something like that i like that i feel like your grandfather could be trying to spare this person because they love them and they love you and they want this relationship to be healed but i feel like this relationship can never be healed until they get rid of this wife or if they or they don't necessarily have to get rid of this wife they need to put this wife in their place somebody need to tell their wife that look this is my son this is my daughter i don't care how old they is i don't care how young they is this is my child you're not gonna come between me and my child look we have the two of swords here i told you you're not gonna come but i feel like if this father doesn't put this spouse in their place and tell, because i feel like this father lets this spouse talk about you like a dog like you're not even their child like you're not even human okay and i feel like if this father does not put this bitch in her place then i'm hearing that your 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 grand grandfather could be deceased and they're trying to they're trying to protect this person but i feel like if this father doesn't make amends with you the right way or just stay away from you and i feel like even if they do stay away from you they need to put this woman in their in, in their place regardless and to tell them to stop talking about you and speaking negative about you because i told you you're somebody that's seen in high honor with the hair of fang, you're a star you're on a world stage people love you whatever type of business that you have people admire you people love you you got a lot of likes subscribe comments i don't know what you do but i'm here you have a nice business you don't have to be a tarot reader but you do something online that's what i'm seeing but i'm hearing there is a grandfather that could be deceased or this grandfather could be the li living but i'm hearing deceased there is a grandfather that has stepped in trying to cover this person and give this person a chance or they're about to face heavy judgment if they don't put they don't have to communicate with you they don't have to talk to you if they don't want to but they need to put this woman in their place regardless if they're with if they talking to you or not because this is somebody that does not want uh, their husband to have a relationship with their child and they're going to face karma too i feel like some something financial is going to happen because they keep speaking down 
down on your business and what you do. Yeah, and I feel like you've proved a lot of people wrong. Yeah, yeah, this father wants to come towards you with an offer, but they don't know what to do because they're they're under spell work. And I'm here and be careful, though, because it's like, even though this father is under spell work, it's like they they really just want to come towards you for your money because they feel like you owe them something they feel like because they're just because they're your father or this is why they could have talked negative about you this is why they could have spoke down on you all the goddamn time because they feel like well but i'm hearing you were you were possibly like in your teenage years or you were young when you did a lot of messed up stuff in your life or you you possibly didn't even do anything messed up you probably were just in a toxic relationship or you just went through trials and tribulations and you never got the emotional support you know what i'm saying you know this father could have been in your life but they was probably possibly never supportive of you yeah and i feel like this father thinks you owe them something just because they're your father they think that you should take care of them or this is i'm hearing this is why they spoke down a, a said a lot of negative fucked up shit about you and talked about you like a dog and let their wife and their stepchildren and other people talk about you because they felt like that you should have been further in life i feel like this father had some type of dream or maybe they wanted to live their dream through you i don't know what that is but i feel like this father had some type of plan for you and you didn't fulfill the plan when they wanted you to and they didn't and they and they didn't realize that god has a plan for your life you know the quickest way to fail is to tell god your plan and i feel like this father now realized that you're a star um you know what i'm saying you're chosen you're on this world stage and they're wanting to come to interrupt they want to they want to interrupt yeah this look i told you with the emperor this is a father here this father wants to come interrupt your happiness you know they know that you're receiving justice they want to stop your abundance and i don't necessarily feel like they want to stop your abundance they want to ask you for some money to see if you're going to give it to them and they want to ask you because they feel like they took care of you they did everything for you this could have been a father that had to pay child support for you and they feel like because they were put on child support you need to pay them back you owe them but you don't owe this father shit because you didn't put this father on child support your mother possibly did or uh, the, the state did whatever wherever the hell you live and they feel like you owe them but you don't owe nobody shit but to keep moving forward keep being abundant keep being self-made yeah you're a high priestess so yeah this father may be uh, afraid to reach out to you because you could be very intuitive you could possibly be a whistleblower here you could call this father out or you could have had some type of argument where you expose this father i feel like this father took you as a joke so if you are a spiritualist you don't have to be you could just be a high priest it's very intuitive but i feel like this father took you as a joke they felt like you wasn't really serious or you you didn't know what you were talking about and so if you are a spiritualist this father is finding out that you the truth you're not somebody to be played with you really do have spiritual gifts or something like that i'm hearing so yeah yeah we have the death card here this is this is what i'm seeing here i feel like there is a deceased grandfather could even be a grandmother but there is some type of grandparent that's deceased that has tried to they're covering this person right now i'm hearing right now as we speak they're going to continue to cover this person but i feel like the divine timing is about to take place i feel like spirit your, your grandfather has been nudging on this father to make amends with you the right way don't try to come to you and ask for some money Oh, crap. Hold on, y'all. Let me cut the light on. My thing just went off. I'm sorry about that, God. I mean, guys. Well, God. Shoot, guys. I didn't mean to say that. But <laughs> anyways, I feel like this there is a grandfather here that's saying don't don't try to come towards this person this 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 son this daughter and ask for no damn money okay because you feel like they owe you something i feel like divine timing is about to take place i feel like spirit has been nudging as well as his grandparent on the other side to make amends with you the right way not ask for money or not i feel like this father just wants to ask for money to see if you're going to give it even though they have money Okay, they just want to see if you're going to give it to them so they can have something to talk about. And they want to get in your business as well. They're extremely jealous of you because everything that they said that you wasn't going to do, you did it. Yeah, and I feel like this father wasted their life possibly being a male hoe, a womanizer or something like that. Or I don't know. They just wasted their damn life. It's like you're an entrepreneur and this father could have worked out nine to five all their life. And you out here being a whole entrepreneur, you're out here in the ace of pentacles. You feel what I'm saying? yeah so yeah i feel like the alternative is, is either you're gonna make amends with this this son or this daughter the right way or stay the hell away from them and put this wife in their place or you're gonna make amends with this daughter the right way and make a and, and put this wife or this spouse or whatever the hell in the right place 
I really don't want to say this. I was trying to hold back, but somebody's father could be gay or they could have they could have gay tendencies or they they don't even if they're not gay, they could have female tendencies. Somebody's father act more like a woman. They're always they're more in their feminine energy than they are in their masculine energy. Somebody's father could be secretly gay or have a gay lover or somebody that they could have worked with or a supervisor or a boss or somebody they could have been sleeping with for years. I'm seeing here this is why they act so feminine and yeah yeah you could actually be a female you don't have to be you could be a masculine as well but yeah i feel like this ancestor is covering them right now they're about to face judgment i don't feel like they face judgment judgment yet but they're about to because i feel like you're receiving justice you're doing well in your life and i feel like this father is about to receive judgment if they don't i'm hearing if they, they need to make amends with you the right way or they need to stay away from you and put this wife in this place. And if they're going to make amends with you, they need to do it the right way. And they need to put this woman, whether they make amends with you or not, they need to put this spouse in their place because you're an empress and you're a star and you're on a world stage and you're destined for greatness. I'm hearing everything that you're manifesting in the, and I'm here, you're going to get, you're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to get better. I feel like God is about to take you really, really far because this is a part of your mission here on earth. This is in your birth chart. This is a part of your Akashic records. And I feel like this father knows that and they realize that, but it's like, they feel like you, they feel like you owe them something because they could have had to pay child support or they could have it's like this father feels like you owe them because they had to take care of you they had to be a father yeah they could also be angry at your mother or, or they could be holding a lot of resentment from stuff in the past this father may say they're not holding resentment but they are it's like yeah this is sad anything else fearful i close this out yeah yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, your father is a king of wands, man. It's like, they're come. they're only coming out as the emperor because they're your father, so. Yeah, and I feel like you're somebody that's self-made, and I feel like if they don't do what spirit tells them to do, they, if they don't do what this grandfather is, I feel like there is a grandfather or a grandmother or a grandparent that's, that's, the, that's this person's parent. Whoever this grandparent is, is this person's mother or father, and they're nudging on this person. Their spirit guides is nudging on them to do the right thing, but they're not. And I feel like if they don't do it, they're going to experience some type of death. And I feel like first is going to hit their finances for speaking negative about you and wishing bad and trying to bring in a tower for you. And then first, I mean, first is going to hit their finances. And then I'm hearing there also could, could get some type of illness here. I'm hearing some type of illness or something. So a freak accident it ha could happen, a heart attack or some type of something can happen. I don't think this father is sick, but I'm seeing some something is going to happen. I'm hearing first is going to be their finances. And I feel like it's going to be their first warning to get it together. Okay, and if they don't pass that test second, it's gonna be their health. And I'm hearing if this, if this, if this, some type of heart attack or something ha happens or something takes place, I feel like this, 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 whoever this person's spouse is, wife is, is going to try to keep their money. And and I'm hearing this father, whether this father make amends with you or not, I feel like there is some type of will here that they're wanting to leave you some type of money. And I feel like this spouse doesn't want you to get it. They want to split it amongst their their children. So I feel like this father is getting their warning comes before destruction. I feel like the first warning is going to be is going to hit their finances in their household. And I'm also hearing it's going to hit this wife and it's going to hit their children for speaking down on you and never being there for you and not being supportive. This wife wanted this, this father to take care of their children and say, fuck you because they're jealous. Yeah. But I'm hearing, like I said, warning comes before destruction, man. I feel like the first warning is going to be hitting their finances. And next is going to be some type of uh, sickness. I don't really see a sickness here. Or it's going to be some type of freak accident or a heart attack or something is going to fucking happen. And I feel like if this actually comes, if this happens in the future, if this happens, this is this is a warning. So none of this is taking place right now. This is a warning. But if this ends up happening, this wife here is going to try to take the wheel, take the money out of the wheel and split it amongst themselves and their children. I'm also seeing they might try to split it amongst a, a, a secret lover that they have. Somebody's wife, this father's wife, somebody's wife here has a secret lover that's in the background. Yeah, that knows about all of this. I feel like they're going to try to split it with their secret lover. So this father could be older than their spouse or something like that. But somebody has a secret lover here. Because I'm hearing secret lover. 
that's what we are. And I feel like this father is so stuck off. They head is so stuck off in the goddamn clouds about you and what the hell they did wrong in their goddamn life. They can't even see that their wife is cheating on them with a secret lover. Possibly a friend or somebody they know or somebody they could have worked with or something like that. I feel like they've been secretly sleeping with this man for years. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, this father about to better get it together, man. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this, because you see how this woman shirt here, it says the devil made me do it. This this lady is demonic, man. You just keep standing strong and keep standing in your power and keep going on your journey because I feel like divine timing is about to take place. This father is about to go under judgment if they don't do what God is, spirit is nudging them to do. And this grandparent is trying to cover them, but it's like they're not going to be able to do it anymore. I feel like there is something that happened with the spiritual court. Okay, this grandfather has had some type of meeting with the spiritual court and they're trying to spare this father, but it's like they're not even seeing it. They're so busy gossiping and talking about you, thinking of a way to come in and stop your abundance. They literally want to come in here and, and ask for some money. And then if you say no, because they never gave you money or supported you, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, yeah, they, it's, yeah, they just want to have something to talk about. They're messy and they operate in feminine energy here. Yeah. But spirit is saying they need to make amends with you the right way. Don't ask you for any money. Just just, just be appreciative of the relationship. Try to amend the relationship. But I feel like I, I'm going to be honest with you. I can see this right here. This father is not going to try to make amends with you. And even if, and if they do, they're not going to do it the right way. They're too stubborn. They think they know everything. They're a know-it-all. Yeah, in a goody goody two shoes, two shoes. They don't think they do any wrong. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this is going on. This is hidden from you. Yeah, so yeah this is sad so yeah just be careful just keep going on your journey because i feel like you're protected you're doing very well for yourself you're self-made so yeah just keep moving forward man so and let god let god and your ancestors and his grandparents ha handle this father because they don't get it they don't want to get it all right my name is the comedic medium prophetess aquarius if you like this reading reading please like subscribe and share thank you and goodbye